What's going on guys? It's Kelly from Mickelson Family Homestead and before we get to the video of us hooking up the pool filter and how to do that, we're going to talk about this LED pool light for your pool. So we're going to go get it set up and see how it works and show you how cool it is. So let's go. First thing you're going to do is wipe down the pool, make sure it's clean and then you're going to dry off the pool. So when you get the piece that you need, um, it will stay on there good. So you take this piece here and you use a super glue. You just want to make sure you spread it around in a circle like how I'm doing it here. Pretty easy. I did get some glue on my hands. That was my fault. And then you're going to want to place it on the pool with the arrow that says up, up. Make sure you press firmly on the pool so it stays on there. Then when you get the light, you see the arrow that's down. You want to make sure that's down in the pool, which you can see here. I still left the arrow on the light so you could see that I did put it down. And then you're going to want to download the app, which is awesome. There's a bunch of color changing features on here. You can put music on here. You can do mic on here. We actually did the seven colors while we were doing the pool and it looked pretty cool. Change the speed, change the brightness. This light is awesome. We're having a great pool party. And there's a link in the description below. Buy some. Buy some. Buy 10 for your pool. Buy 10 for your pool. Yes. Hey guys, it's Curtis from Mickelson Family Homestead. Today, we're gonna show you how to build the pool filter that we use every year. We have real bad iron in our water and our water turns sewer brown it is terrible and gross looking we spent several hundred dollars on filters trying to get it clear and it did not work someone suggested to us we filter the water after it's in the pool and we tried it and it worked great so the last filter we made was a little bit more rudimentary and we used the the hoses from the original pool and pump and it was a lot of screwing around um, trying to find parts that fit. We're going to give you the exact parts we're using to make this and we're going to use PVC so it's a little bit more user friendly as far as making it fit to your pump. So first and most important thing you're going to need is a, it's called a banjo bulkhead fitting, bulkhead tank fitting. Um, this allows you to, and it's a left handed thread so left hand is tight, right hand is loose. This allows you to drill a hole in the bucket and it has a rubber washer that sits in there and seals it back up for you. So that washer goes into there. The bucket will have, we'll cut a hole in this bucket here, five gallon pail, and it'll go in and this will go on the other side and screw back in and it'll seal the water from escaping. Oh, that's neat. I didn't know that. that's what it was for. So, Bancho bulkhead fitting. Left-handed thread. So it's uh, a little bit more confusing than normal. <laughs> Doesn't follow the normal ready tidy lap you lose Second thing we're gonna need is this bucket. Five gallon pail of any sort has to have a very tight fitting lid. That is really important because you're putting a lot of pressure towards that lid and we're going to cut a bunch of holes in the lid to make it filter the water through. And inside this bucket is going to be pillow stuffing. I know it sounds stupid and it doesn't seem like it could work, but it does. It takes the iron out of the water and everything else. It filters better than 
the $300 in filters that we bought. It did not work at all with all those filters and with this we have crystal clear water. So in addition to that you're going to need either a PVC male threaded to fit into this bulkhead thread or I picked up just another male fitting to fit into this. Double sided, same thread as this bulkhead. The part number on the bulkhead fitting that we're using today is TF200. The part number on this male double sided thread m 200 p We'll put all this stuff up on the screen and maybe create links to it so you guys can get it too. This will thread into here and then we're going to go to PVC from there. So I found a female PVC that fit this thread to go from there and then working with PVC is very simple. You're going to put a 90 degree angle, a tube to your pump itself and on the pump we'll put another um, fitting the same as this threaded one onto the pump with another 90 degree angle and then the piece that comes between them will be a two inch PVC pipe that'll fit between the slink. So that'll be what we're going to do and I'm going to get started. So first thing I need, I use a three and a quarter inch hole cutting saw in the center of this bucket as center as you can get. I'll have to vacuum. <laughs> yeah, that's a little messy. But we're gonna deburr this edge, make sure we don't have any of that plastic hanging off. Um, you can just use a knife to deburr it. fairly well. Then from there, we're going to use this bulkhead fitting. Alright, so you take these two pieces off. Just connect this for now. I'm going to go this way. So the rubber seal is going to be on the outside, keeping it from leaking. I would prefer to be the other way because it's easier to tighten, but this is how we're going to do it. On the inside of the bucket, we're going to meet the other side of that, the flat side of this down. And again, the left-handed thread. So, this part is a little tough because it is really hard to tighten this. So I'm going to physically tighten it with my hands as, hard, as, as good as I can. If we have to tighten it more, we're going to have to use a pipe wrench and figure some way to lock this inside one to do it. Which is a little tough because there's not room for a wrench in there or anything. So hopefully hand tight is going to work good enough for us. We'll find out. From here, using plastic parts allows a pretty good seal for the water being watertight. You can use a thread tape that'll make it a tighter seal and less likely to leak, but we'll see how it goes with just the plastic parts for now. here, PVC thread. All right, so for PVC, you're gonna use a, a primer on the outside of the clean surface. That's gonna get the surface ready for that rubber cement. And primer to the inside of the surface you're connecting it to. Stuff is fun and messy. So. Alright, it dries really quickly. I want the 
handle of the bucket on top. So I'm going to make sure it's facing that way and we're going to put this PVC connection at a 90 degree angle to the side. So inside of the surface, a little bit on the outside of the surface. Good seal. Connect them. 90 degree angle for this. That's it. You can let it dry. Nice. I'm gonna drill the holes into the lid. You only want it halfway on the lid. Super simple. Super easy. Oh! Try to do it gently because you could crack the bucket or the lid. Polyfill, get it at Walmart. It's pillow stuffing. I got the big bag because we're gonna fill this twice probably. This is gonna get real dirty and real orange after we filter all this out. As you can see, this water is disgusting. So, open it up. Take a why straw or something. Hmm. big chunk of this stuffing you know shove it into this bucket one thing that might happen after you do this is your lid might get pushed off because of the pressure so we put all the holes towards the top because we want to keep any sediment that filters in here in the bucket and we'll show you some ways to prevent the lid from coming off That's it, simple as that. Make sure it's clamp clamped on all the way. Obviously the bucket lid might not be strong enough, so we have options to hold it on. One of which is some clamps. If you have some sitting around, we just clamp it to the bucket, one on each side. Pretty simple to do. Next option would be a bungee, but I had these sitting around, so this is work for us. I think these work the best anyway. It does work good. Then let it let it rip. It's gonna fill up. Once it hits the top of that lid where the holes are, it's gonna start filtering through. Within 24 hours, you're gonna see a drastic difference in your pool of clarity. Um, it really depends on how bad your water is. Our water is really irony, so we take, we'll change the pillow casing out twice, at least. And uh, once it starts to clear up, we're going to add a little bit of bleach to the water, and it completely clears up. Which I just want to put in there that a lot of people think bleach is bad. What do you guys think chlorine is? It's pretty much bleach. Yeah, chlorine is... So chlorine actually makes your water oxidize, it'll turn it browner. Um, bleach will clear out any of the bacteria in the water. So we'll let it run and we'll show you the results. Thanks. Alright, at this point, the 
water is getting clear enough, we're going to switch out the filter uh, material. So what happens is all that iron collects and it's really orange. So we can't just turn off the pump and leave it because it'll start seeping into the pool again and it'll create a orange cloud. Yeah. So what we're going to do is turn it off and at the same point pull it out and let it drain outside the pool. Um, we're going to pull out the orange stuffing and put new stuffing in and that'll help this clear up the rest of the way. So. You leave the pump on? No. Okay. For now we're leaving the pump on. I'm going to turn it off and let it drain for a second. But once I see any color coming out, I'm going to pull the whole thing off. Okay. I don't see any coming out. Back washing in there. Alright. So it's really heavy. It's full of water. See it. Now you can see the orange stuff that comes out. That's all the stuff that filtered out of the pool. The iron. Kind of a good visual on what happens. <laughs> so, unfortunately, I've got the teeth coming out because of the water. All the pump is set up. Okay. So what you gotta do is fill the stuffing ASAP. Yep. Stop draining. Because he is such a strong man. Why do you laugh at me? In business, and turn this back on. Back at it. So how long did, how long was the bucket so, filtering for? This was almost 48 hours, taking a little bit longer than normal this time. But after the new filter materials put in, I think it's gonna clear up by tomorrow. So should be good results. Looking good. The supplies you need, the links will be in the description below. First, you need a five gallon lid, and then you need a five gallon pail. You will need three 90 degree elbows, PVC, one PVC pipe, PVC cement and primer, a bulkhead tank fitting, a pipe nipple, a female PVC two inch, depending on your pool size actually, and then polyfill. All right, so it's been two days, then we changed that filter out and another 24 hours and it all cleared up. I can tell in that last 24 hours, the filter stuffing has already turned a little bit orange, so we'll probably have to change it again. But it's all cleared up. We do add a little bit of bleach because it helps clear everything up and solidify everything, but uh, ready to go. Time for the pool party. <laughs> <laughs>